Example 17 The polynomial Px equal to this given which has a constant a and b has a factor x minus 1 and give the remainder negative 50 when divided by x plus 1. So here we say a factor x minus 1 and a divisor x plus 1. Find a constant a and b. So we use this two information here the factor and the divisor so we use the first um, information there uh, the factor x minus 1 is a factor so x equal to 1 okay, p1 equal to 0 so we substitute 1 into polynomial and equal to 0 it becomes like this and when we simplify, we get the first equation. And the second uh, information here is a divisor. Divisor divided by x plus 1. And remainder is negative 15. So we use remainder theorem. Okay, the equation negative 1 into polynomial equate to negative 15 so we get the second equation like this and we have these two equation we solve to find the value of a and b and here we use uh, elimination since um, constant a have same coefficient so I use elimination Equation 1 minus equation 2. And here A minus A, we get 0. So I have B. So we get the value of B is 32. And this value, this value we substitute into equation 1 to get the value of A. And then the answer for A is negative 19 done for question a and for question b if negative 2 is another 0 okay, another 0 factorize ps completely so what mean 0 from 0 we can have a factor so if negative 2 is a 0 so we can um, form a factor is x plus 2 so we use this factor x plus 2 with the factor given in the question x minus 1 to factorize px we use both both of factor okay so the question b we substitute uh, the value of a and b there okay a is negative 19 and b 32 Okay, we want to use long division. So, the polynomial in the inside. And we substitute the value of A and B there. And the divisor, we use both of the factor. So, the factor is x minus 1 two times with another factor. Okay, so we get here x squared plus x minus 2 and we write here ok and then we do long division 6 for x divide x squared we get 6x squared and then we multiply 6x squared times x and 6x squared times negative 2 then we subtract 0, negative 7, minus 6, we get negative 13, x cubed, negative 19, minus negative 12, we get negative 7, x squared, and the rest, we bring down, and we continue non-division, 
negative 13 x cube divided by x square we will get negative 13 x then we multiply negative 13 times 1 negative 13 x square negative 13 times negative 2 we get 26 0 negative x negative 7 x square minus negative 13 we get positive 6 and then 32 minus 26 we get 6 and negative 12 we bring down ok we repeat the step so 6 x square divided by x square we get 6 and then we multiply then subtract here we get 0 Okay, we write the, the, the we write the answer after combination. So p x equal to the q is six x square minus thirteen x plus six times the divisor. Okay, then uh, the quadratic here we can factor using calculator. Then we get two x minus three, three x minus two. And the divisor here is from here. So, we copy paste. Okay. Now, this is the final answer for question B. Okay, for the question C, it say solve when px equal to 0. Okay. Solve. Solve means you want the value of x. So, what is the value of x? Like we find the root. Okay, so when we want to solve, make sure first we write the x equal to zero. If we do not write equal to zero, then how can we get the value of x? X equal to something is from the equation. So if there is no equal zero, so there is no equation, meaning we can find we can find the value of x so first make sure we write px equal to zero and then uh, we can just write x equal to something what the answer or can copy paste the px in factorized form like this and we state the value of x so the first x is 3 over 2 and then the second x is 2 over 3 and next is uh, 1 and then negative 2 that's it thank you